Hello, my dearest friends. Happy Friday and welcome to Branding Wheel of Fortune. My name is Julia Masalska, like so. You can feel free to follow me on Instagram. That's where I'm mostly active and that's where you can get in touch with me if you want. So, um, welcome everybody who is joining us. I see Maya in the chat and Mohammed. Come say hi. We're all here to interact with each other and to keep the conversation going. So, um, awesome. Branding Wheel of Fortune, what is it? What is it? What is this Branding Wheel of Fortune? And for me, it's a way to show you that design don't, doesn't have to be intimidating, but design can be fun and it can be experimental. And it can be also a process where you can make mistakes and it still can come out really good. So um, this is a very short kind of uh, process for me. So within an hour or so, I'm going to try and create a whole branding for a um, any of these uh, companies that you all have submitted in my on my Instagram my wheel of fortune is currently traveling in miami so we are going to do it this way today with branding uh post-its uh random topics <laughs> so um it's going to be fun as well i'm sure how is everybody doing bashant is here also yes uh, it's not my first live but um Maybe it's your first life with me, but um, we have a lot of these streams. Also, you can feel free to rewatch them on my uh, on my channel. Now, let's get right into it, my friends. I am excited to pick one of these today and we have 10 different topics. So I'm just going to swirl around and I'm just going to pick one and I'm going to. Ooh, there are multiple. They're all sticky. Oh, no, we're going to have to work on multiple brands today. No, just kidding. We don't have the time for that, but this is it. This is it. And I'm going to be working on this today. I literally, I'm not prepared and it's all improvisation. So eh, bear with me if the design process is going to take a while. So today we're going to be designing for a tequila brand, tequila mezcal. Hopefully you all can see this. I'm not sure if you can see this, but uh, if you don't see this, I see this. It says tequila and mezcal. And we're going to be designing probably a label for a tequila brand. Hopefully. All right. Uh, Forworks Graphics is here also. See Elixir. Um, and we, uh, Mylan Allegretti is also here from Ar Argentina. Awesome. Mohamed, um, you sent me a project on Instagram? Okay, good. Send me your projects. Awesome. So, um, my friends, let's jump right into this. This is going to be a tequila and mezcal brand that we're going to be working with completely from scratch. And so this is not the way I work with my clients. Just wanted to warn you, this is just a, you know, experimental creativity practice that I like to do. So if you want to get better at branding and if you kind of want to improve your, um, problem solving skills and just like finding quick solutions, quick concepts. This is a way to go, but working with clients takes way, way longer than this. So, all right, let's get right into this. And I'm starting off in Adobe Illustrator and I'm going to create new, I'm going to create a new artboard for web and it's going to be a web large and I'm going to create one artboard for now. So this is my starting point and I'm kind of going to put together myself a mood board. Now, of course, working with real clients is completely different. By the way, let me know if the audio is good, if you all can hear me well and um, if you can hear some of the vibes, some of the music in the background. So, um, all right, so let's get into the mood board. And first of all, I would like for you to suggest some brand names for the mezcal or the tequila that we're going to be working on feel free to shoot them into the chat and i'm going to pick one of those Woo all right so now first of all let's jump into this and i'm going into pinterest and i'm going to take a look at some of oh by the way feel free to follow me on instagram at julia Masalska. now i'm going into pinterest and i'm going to take a look at some of the tequila brands and i'm going to maybe pull in some examples just to see what kind of information is on the label and is on the bottle and what we will need so i'm going to type in tequila branding 
and I'm going to see what is there and to kind of get an idea. So this is already something really, really interesting and I really love uh, the um, the idea behind this. It's very, It looks very trippy, it has a lot of graphical elements here. So I'm just going to drag and drop this uh, image into my mood board and just going to kind of put it together like this. Uh, let's see, we have Don Julio, which is a very famous brand. I want to go for something a little bit more modern and I really love also this uh, little top uh, element here, the little paper that kind of uh, seals the bottle. So I'm going to grab this in here as well, just to get an idea of how something like this might look like. And again, my friends, this is all just improvisation. And um, Let's see what else is here. This is also really interesting. It looks very uh, kind of uh, artisanal and very uh, crafty. So let's pull this in here as well. And I'm also getting a, a light idea of colors being used in tequila branding. So we see a lot of natural colors, rusty, a lot of greens, a lot of very light greens that we have, earthy tones. So this is uh, really cool as well. I also really love this uh, type of, uh, you know, ancient looking uh, symbols, elements. So let's pull this in here as well. Also like the yellow here and the mood board, by the way, it's, you know, it's for us to just get some ideas. It's not necessarily uh, copying anything. And uh, I would definitely recommend kind of taking a bunch of different sources for uh, something like this. This is also really nice. It looks very uh, crafty, very valuable, um, very carefully and precisely designed. So let's, uh, let's drop this in here as well. Um, let's see if we have any ideas for the brand names. We have Lara also joining. Can you do a video talking about the process when working with a real client? Yes, I do have a branding uh, series that you can check out on my YouTube channel. It's, uh, has, it has, uh, I think, four different parts and it goes from client questionnaire. So my first conversation with a client then goes over the design process, the design review with a client and then the final presentation. So check that out. And that process, by the way, is a very um, short design process. It's not the actual way I work with clients now. So I, I feel like I have to redo this. Okay, uh, we have Vakar also joining. Hi, good to see you. Holy Sunset is also here. Jalisco for the name would be a, no a, a nod to the drink's origin. Oh, Jalisco, Jalisco, I'm thinking. Okay, Jalisco sounds good. Ana is here, awesome. And Gala is here from Brazil. Awesome, cool. So Jalisco sounds good. Let's let's type this up here so that I don't forget. By the way, still feel free to suggest any brand names. Jalisco. Uh, I want to know more about Jalisco. It sounds like it's a place, but let me know more about how you got to this holly that would be very interesting to know now let's make this pretty large here and i'm just you know using any typeface just to note down the names so that we can kind of come up with something else um hi charlie good to see ya um awesome all right so we are coming up with brand names and we're also building our mood board here meanwhile so while you are all suggesting uh, names for the brand i'm going to keep on collecting the visuals and get some inspiration here all right, let's go back. Let's go back and let's not lose track of our branding because we're kind of getting a little close. I really love this effect here where we have some mirrored um, uh, graphics. I think that could be very interesting. Ah, okay, Sprout. This is also really nice. And we are also going to dive into fonts in a second. Um, which are, is also very interesting to take a look at here. Venditos Tequila. I really like this badgy style uh, logo. So we might implement something like this. Also, I feel like um, the agave is a very uh, traditional, you know, visual that is being put on tequila. And here we have some uh, visuals that have to do with tequila, uh, maybe like a cactus or some... Um, some other Mexican Mexican things. All right, let's get away from that. And I like what I like about um, uh, what about what I liked about Pinterest is that you can really find the right mood for things. And oh, this is also really nice, Casa Mexicano. Um, I think this is a restaurant, but I really like the style of this. I feel like it looks very um, luxurious and not luxurious. It looks crafty, but very classy. So I really like that for our brand. I think that could be really interesting to experiment with. Now, one way to create a mood board uh, 
that I can share with you is I'm going to make these images just a little bit smaller. And as you can see, it's all like different heights and different uh, uh, proportions in the images. So I'm just going to place some of these images underneath each other, make sure that they have the same width. And then I'm just going to select all of those and adjust those to the height. And so sorry that I'm talking so fast because right now I have to think fast because we don't have a lot of time for this. <laughs> we have to be done in 45 minutes or maybe a little bit more. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. But it's Friday and I don't want to keep you all here all day, but I still want to do something fun with you all. Uh, OK, cool. Holly is saying Jalisco is uh, an area of Mexico. I don't know if I'm remembering correctly, but I'm sure tequila was created there. Hmm. Okay. All right. You you got me convinced. Okay. Our tequila name is Jalisco. All right. Now let's continue a little bit with our mood board to get some a little bit of inspiration here. Well, I love this font, uh, Maranos Mezcal. Uh, I'm sure this could be something for us to look at while we're designing and to try if it's going to fit to what we're going to be creating but i also like the color in the background so that might be also a resource for us uh, this is also really fun here as you can see there is um, a pattern made out of text i really like that i think that could be also good inspiration for us so let's pull that in and we are going to uh, think about patterns as well for our brand uh, which i think Patterns are sometimes, you know, very useful and very helpful to fill in uh, spaces and create backgrounds. So let's pull this by side. Let's uh, drop in some more images and look, we have something like really, really ancient looking. That's also really fun. I like the idea of having uh, small elements repeating each other. So I think we're going to bring this, um, this thing in here as well, just like that. All right, so it looks like our mood board is quite complete and we are going to kind of close it up here and adjust the artboard just because I like to prepare my things for presentation already. And when I'm designing something like this, I wanna be able to just um, share this whole slide with someone. So um, yeah, I like to do that. Now let's create a new artboard and I'm going to copy this artboard by unclicking move artwork with artboard so that I can just grab the artboard without the artwork on it. Now let's get into the logo. Let's get into the fonts that we can use for our brand. And for that, I like to go um, to fonts.adobe.com. Let's take a look what we've got. So we are going to get off Pinterest now and we are going to fonts adobe.com and we are going to log in i'm going to log myself in real quick okay so now we're going to browse fonts and here i'm going to look for maybe um something not sure but i wanted to i want my font to be you know i don't want it to be the cleanest the cleanest sans serif i want it to be a nice something maybe shaded even let's see what we've got um we also don't want it to look um oh first of all let's type in our name so here we can add the sample text and i'm going to add uh, Lisco. all right and here we ha already have calder which is also an amazing font and that font kind of also reminds me of the jameson whiskey logo and it kind of reminds me of uh, because it it's a little bit rough it has a little bit of texture it does remind me of this like crafty feel of something so i'm going to uh i think i already have that one actually let's see yes i do have some of it so i'm going to activate the whole font family and i'm going to use that as one of my fonts calder let's see yeah i'm going to just activate all of these there we go okay now i can also use variations of this of course and here we have a script as well which is going to be very very handy for us and we also have the dark outline which can come handy if we have large pieces of text that we don't want to overload with color so here we can use the outline of that to create a good hierarchy um yeah i have used this font before i think i feel like but now let's get back and let's look for something more rounded maybe and more playful let's see maybe something friendly if you have any font suggestions feel free to also shoot them into the chat chat 
<clears throat> I've been also liking the rough, uh, rough collection and rough actually I think means that the edges have a little bit of texture. That means that, um, you know, we have a little bit of a rough outline here and here we can see quite clearly that there is a lot of texture in these fonts. You can see there are even some holes in this. Um, I really love this Nelson typeface. Again, this reminds me a lot of Jameson Whiskey, which I think that's why it kind of probably reminds me of spirits and of alcohol. Um, and so I'm going to activate that one as well. So we have Nelson and the other one was, what was the other one? Let's see. So Nelson. Um, it's currently probably activating so let's take a look what was the other one Nelson and 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 Nelson and let's see oh here we also have some really nice ones okay so we were going for a clean one or maybe not I don't remember do you all remember what font that was Let's see. I think we can see the recently activated ones. Let's find the Nelson first. No, 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 no. Um, okay, let's see. Recently added. There we go. Okay, recently added. Yeah, I think this could be a little bit. This could be a little bit better. Um, in terms of, hello, illustrator, are you listening? <laughs> okay. Finding fonts that I just activated could be easier. But let's see. All right. Nelson. Hello. All right. It looks like maybe my creative cloud is currently um, doing something else. Is maybe on vacation? because it's summer and my creative cloud app is probably not going right now. Or maybe it is, I think it is. All right, let's see. Let's see if we have it already. And meanwhile, I'm gonna scroll through my fonts and see if I have anything else that could be interesting. And we have, I have a lot of like symbols, which could be also interesting to experiment with. Oh, this is, oh. this is like Friday mood, you know, everybody's already ready for the weekend. Uh-huh. Yeah, Illustrator is like, hey, Julia, you know what? Maybe not today. <laughs> okay, let's see uh, who we got in the chat. We have uh, Basan saying, thank you, Julia. I learned a lot from you and I'm a beginner on branding and I want to ask, um, should I learn iconic logo? I'm not sure what you mean by iconic logo. It's, um, you can create different variations of logos. And yeah, there are different variations of logos. And, a, oh yeah, look, Calder. Yay, we found it. Calder. Come on, Illustrator, at least give me Calder. Yes, okay, so we have that. We have Calder dark dark rift dark rift and we we also have calder dark and we also have calder script that can be also very interesting for us to use oh we have way more oh my god they finally loaded they loaded okay good this one with the shadow is also very interesting yes i am i might i might i might Okay, uh, and then I also wanted to try the Nelson one. Is it already here, Illustrator? Nelson, yes, there we go. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I like that, I like that, I like that. Yeah, I think this one could be good, the bold one. So, we could have something like this, Nelson bold, uh, bold? And I'm going to resize. I'm going to make it way bigger. So let's make it like a hundred. And of course it doesn't fit into our text box anymore. And then we're going to use this one as a, as a, like, um, 
more functional typeface while this one is our logo so maybe even that so let's see Jalisco tequila yeah I think this look looks very artisan and I can imagine this being um, being very cool in like color and stuff so let's do this let's do this Jalisco tequila um, and let's let's continue let's see what we can do with this I'm going to copy paste this remove that and I'm going to make a tap on type on a path with a circle I'm going to create a circle like this and then I'm going to use my type on the path tool just like that and I'm going to write tequila and I'm going to sample my other font with a letter i there we go and then i'm going to center align center align it yeah kind of um distribute it in the middle let's say interesting okay we can do that too all right so maybe something like this while i think this needs to be a little bit larger you have to experiment with the text size a little bit um okay now let's see what else we've got um as part of the logo Jalisco. what do y'all think what do y'all think um awesome logos that are made with grids yeah yeah it's, it's a type of logo but it's not something that will define your you know some some designers they like to you to use something like that as their style but i tr truly think that designing something um means understanding the brand and it's not always using the same style and i always say that i think you really have to find a different style for each of your clients so yeah while i think that you can be a logo designer and you know be successful but uh in my in my work style i don't design something in my style i take the brand i take the brand and their strategy or develop a strategy and then i develop a style for them that is their own unique style right hope that makes sense all right so this is really fun over here i'm thinking about some patterns maybe maybe only maybe a pattern that we can use for our brand so i'm going to use uh the rectangle tool i'm going to create a rectangle and then one thing that you all probably didn't know is that you can double click on the corners and you can i'm not sure if it was here or it was if it was not here let's see i think once i create that yes i think that should uh, let's see let's see so you can create inverted corners that are going to be basically creating the radius but towards the inside not to not towards the outside and for that i think i might be using the uh-huh interesting i think if i go with the direct selection to yeah there we go so if you go with the direct selection you can select different types of corners here and here we have the round inverted round and the chamfer whatever that means but i'm going to go for the inverted round and that's how i can create myself a little star and that's going to be part of my brand pattern so i'm going to use this star and i'm going to expand this also expand shape okay and I'm going to use the star as part of my pattern. So I'm going to create myself a little Jalisco tequila pattern. And I could do something like that where my pattern is repeating. I could also add another element to this, maybe a little circle. Something like this. My neighbor's dogs are um, having fun. <laughs> it sounds like <laughs> it sounds like a pack of wolves. 
All right. So, uh, ooh, okay, this is interesting. Um, I'm always trying to create something that's a little bit different. So I'm not actually looking here and going like, hey, let me create just exactly the same thing. But I'm going to look at that other brands, for example, use a specific shapes for their brand. And that's something that I'm going to take as an inspiration and I'm going to create my own brand, my own um, thing, right? So I can, for example, experiment further and take this and make it an outline and use that. Also, I don't know what exactly this is here, uh, but um, yeah, <laughs> things can happen sometimes in Illustrator and Illustrator will make you some funny, funny, funny graphics. Okay, so let's take this and maybe we can make a pattern like that. Maybe something like this. Something that looks kind of like a tile um, that I can just repeat, keep on repeating. Yeah, I think that could be cool. That's, it's, I think it's a pretty unique pattern. I have not seen this before. So uh, let's create a repeat. And I was just teaching this today uh, on Adobe Live. I can use that and I can go into object, repeat, and I can do a grid. So that grid, super fun, I think actually originates from Adobe XD where we have the repeat grid and that just helps you create a pattern that you can customize and control and you can even go in here and still adjust things like, for example, you can turn this or you can go in and place a circle somewhere else and that will be placed everywhere else too. So something like this, but now I have my pattern. I have my, looks like I have my tequila logo and we are only 30 minutes in. <laughs> so let's get into the color. Um, let's get into the color and I'm going to create some samples. I'm going to just create something that looks like a, like a color palette from your um, painting set. Right. And I'm going to take these circles and I'm going to use them as my color palette sample thingy. And I want to sample some color colors from here just because I am feeling a little bit under time pressure. And I'm going to grab some colors from random things, maybe backgrounds, maybe. Yeah, not sure, just things. There we go. And in the same way, you can also take a uh, lifestyle image. So, for example, I can go to Unsplash. And I can go in and put in something like, oh, funny, right? I was just looking for tequila, but I can download this and I can use that image as a reference for my colors as well. So you don't only have to take graphics. You can also take any kind of images and stuff like that. So I'm going to put this one in here, for example. And the cool thing is here that we can sample some something from a tequila drink. Why not? That also sets off memories. Um, in us that have to do with tequila. So maybe it's a specific drink and I'm going to sample that color and maybe we can even use two shades from here, maybe a lighter and a darker shade, something like this. Now, I don't need this anymore. So um, yeah, I'm just going to continue like this, maybe sampling some of these colors. I really like this dark. So I think I'm going to keep that. That could be already our color palette. This yellow, I think, is a little bit too uh, bright for our purpose. And um, we have this like very crafty um, type of brand and the yellow just looks way too happy and way too uh, unnatural. That color you probably won't find that often in nature. So I would just remove that. And now let's see, uh, maybe I would add like a dark green. So maybe I can just copy this and let's see what kind of color this is. Uh -huh, okay, so the cool thing is that in Illustrator, we have this uh, really cool um, color. Um, I would not say color wheel because this is a color wheel, but this is like a, like a color distribution um, um, palette thing. So top left, we have very light and very little color so the least color and the lightest here on the right side we have the most color and the lightest at the bottom we have a uh, bottom right we have most color and the darkest and on the left uh left bottom corner we have the least color and the darkest that means 
all of this on the left side is grayscale, right? So what I'm going to do now is to create a lighter shade of that dark color. I'm going to take that color and I'm going to move it slightly up in the scale. And I already saw that it's a shade of green because it has some earthiness in it, as you can see. So um, it's wonderful. It's perfect. I think this color will be an amazing brand color for this, uh, for this theme. And I want to try it out by making my pattern that color. So I'm going to s select one of these and I'm going to sample that color and see how that's going to work out. And maybe my points can actually be a different color. So we can check that too and see if that works. I think that works pretty well. Maybe even um, those stars can be a darker tone. Oh, okay. So I, I just actually adjusted only the left. Um, let me actually make all dark and in the same way you can also create copies. So I'm actually not doing it right right now. What you can do is you can create another artboard and you can take that design and take it along with you for an experiment. Okay. And in the same way you can just create copies of this and create variations. That's what I would do. I would just experiment and see them in comparison. Okay. So then again, we can take that and we can sample different colors and see what they're going to look like. And maybe we can even decide to use multiple of these. And maybe, um, you know, the the little stars can be one color and the. Let's see. All right, I'm not doing this right. OK. All right, now I have everything selected except for the circle and I'm going to make this one of these colors. Let's see what that looks like. I already see that that's not going to work for us. Um, yeah, not sure about this, not sure about this, but um, I think that one, co uh, one color, one tone will work best, to be honest. And it will even work in this very light color because we can place a background here. I'm going to use a rectangle. Whoop. I really like this cream color. I think it's amazing. Maybe this green. Send to back. Yes, this is this is really good. I like this. I think we need a contrast uh, dark on light and light on dark. Let's remove both of these and we're going to create another rectangle in that light color. That's going to be both of our patterns for the brand. OK, so these are the two patterns. I'm even going to remove this one because I don't want it to confuse uh, to get confused. All right, so we have our color palette. We have our pattern. Now let's take uh, some of that pattern and I'm going to take one of these thingies. And that's kind of like a brand element that here we are repeating and maybe we can make use of this in our logo. So let's see how we can make use of this uh, little element and make that our brand, uh, you know, like a brand symbol maybe. So let's see. And these aren't grouped, so I'm going to group them. And maybe I'm even going to use uh, one of them or maybe, uh, let's see. Let's see what, what we're going to do here. And again, I repeat, this is all improvisation. So my design skills are not that bad. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So this could be something, this could be something now, I'm, I think this might be a little bit too much texture here. So I'm still thinking about that. Um, <laughs> yeah, that could be interesting. Look, something like this. Again, I'm going to group this. This could be placed at the bottom, for example. And let's see how we can distribute this nicely. Yeah, I'm not quite satisfied with this typeface yet. Let's experiment. Let's see what we can do. Maybe another alternative. Maybe we can even use that as our uh, as our font for the logo. Maybe something like this. Jalisco tequila. This is, I think, 
works a little bit better. Let's make all of those same color. So I'm going to grab one of my brand colors, maybe this green or no, actually let's go with a dark one. Okay, cool. So let's make this one just a little bit smaller. I also noticed, I also realized that this element takes up a lot of attention, like, you know, and that's why I'm, I'm trying to make this a little bit smaller so that it's not, uh, you know, why it's taking up a lot of attention? Because first of all, it looks like an eye. Um, and that's, those are the things that we're always looking at. We're always trying to find the pupils. And then um, also the shape is really spiky. So that's also something naturally, of course, we have to take care of ourselves as humans and we have to watch out for spikes. If something is spiky, it will catch our attention naturally. Cool. Um, how long does it take to create a logo? Ooh, that's a, it's, it is a process. In this case, this is just like an improvisation and I would probably go on after this and I would create uh, so many variations, so many variations that, um, uh, let's call it artisanal tequila. Uh, maybe, just maybe, just maybe we're going to use a flat. So we're not going to create a type on a path, but something like this more. And I still think that you know, the logo could be a little bit more exciting. So I'm, I do want to research a little bit more on the fonts and I am going to go to, uh, let's go to creative market. I know I shouldn't be spending money now, but or maybe we can go to, let's go to Adobe fonts, but yeah, I would go to creative market and because there are some really cool, amazing fonts. Okay. Um, fonts.adobe.com let's let's research a little bit longer over here maybe we can find something that's going to f work for us and this is also really cool like i think i said it earlier that i thought this would work maybe maybe it will look too aggressive so let's go back into maybe geometric let's see what what geometric has to offer and maybe we can even go into, let's take a look at the stencil. Stencils also remind of, um, you know, how you spray on the name of something onto like a, um, onto like a um, wooden uh, barrel or something like that. So that's something that I'm thinking about. Um, no, this is way too friendly, but let's take a look at friendly maybe. We can find something there. And I'm thinking maybe to check for this in caps. All right. Yeah. Oh, yes. New spirit. Hello. Hello, new spirit. Hello, hello. Let me activate you. And I'm going to take uh, the semi bold and the spirit medium. Um, I know it does look very friendly, but it might actually work. So let's try it out. It does look very friendly though. Okay, so new spirit. Oh, that was fast. Great. Uh-huh, what do you all think? This is very friendly looking, but let's take a look at maybe at the variations of this font. Because I like how this font is so um how it's so different and has a little bit of character and i think that's something that we need in our logo right now we're missing the character medium condensed i think the condensed could also be working really well because right now it looks very it looks really fluffy right it looks like huh, like something very friendly like a nice uh family oriented brand <laughs> but we want something that's a little bit more artisanal and a little bit more maybe elegant so let's take a look what we've got uh, da -da. this could be something this could be something new spirit medium condensed and i'm going into the uh, into the kerning and i'm going to experiment with this as well this might be this might be something for us this might be something for us what do you all think we can also experiment with a variation with caps 
and really spread them adjust the kerning and make it like really spread out and look this is both the same font the same size even but how different it looks in caps and in um, a case sensitive so i do want to have i want to try something a little bit more elegant this is still very rounded so i'm going back into fonts i'm going back here i'm gonna go back and I'm, I'm gonna look for luxury i'm gonna see what kind of serifs we've got because the serif might work really well here the griffon looks really nice let's take a look at the family and always when picking a font for a logo make sure to look at the family and what what it looks like all right oh yes look at that griffon light regular i think the light one looks amazing and we can try it out it looks very spiky i like it i think it can be a little bit more uh, bring a little bit more spiciness into this brand um okay also we have only 17 minutes left oh this is also nice look rosella rosella a very nice very nice font that we can also try out so rosella let's try out rosella all right let's see come on rosella activate all right Whew, exciting all right um as we were waiting andrea's here what about new spirit but with roughened edges that might make it more artisanal um yeah yeah we could do that we could do that that's an opportunity the dot might be above the eye but maybe with a cleaner typeface yeah um yes might be might be. you know there's a lot of ver opportunity to experiment but i really want to try the what was it again rosella i want to try rosella for some reason i feel like that might work out Ooh, look how nice so okay what do we think rosella deco or or rosella flourish i think this could be this could be something for us this could be something for us my friends so let's take that real quick and see how that will work out it is i have to say it is very light and it is very pattern oriented but uh, we can also play with this pattern and we can translate it into a pattern and reuse it, use it and reuse it. Let's make this a little bit um, dark. Oh, this is also cute script. Uh huh. All right. Yeah, something like this. Something like this. Yeah, I'll see. That looks good. I, so the reason why I picked a little bit of a lighter font here is because I want Jalisco to be read first. I want it to be a little bit more further up in the hierarchy, of course, because it's a brand name, right? So what else can we do? We can also, we can also combine. We can combine things because we can place this as a background. So let's play around with that. And that way we also don't only have that line line uh, art here, but also have a little background. Um, yeah, maybe something like this. And I'm going to place this to the back. Hmm, maybe. Let's select, let's try other colors. Let's try other colors, maybe the green. I think even by itself, it already looks great. And let's try the other, uh, the, uh, the uh, mm, no, not a big fan. Not sure about this. I am not sure about this. So I think our options are this green with the black or Also, this font has different other variations. So let's see what else we've got engraved. Maybe an inline. Also be, could also be interesting. Oh yeah. 
check this out it's pretty cool maybe this inline could be a darker color let's see no let's see what else we've got here in our <sighs> so it's so hard yeah what do you all think what do you all think what do you all think so let's do a final decision round so let's take let's take this guy let's take mm, not sure which one let's take this guy and let's take this guy so what do you all think one two or three one two or three this is one candidate one to the stage candidate two candidate three i don't know why but i'm kind of liking this one to be honest i kind of confuse myself into that but that's that's what the design process is it's all about kind of like stepping out looking at the whole thing and thinking about hey so you know which direction are we gonna go so what do y'all think number one um cool the one with the points mm, well see it independently from the from the pattern so the pattern we can still use here so we can still use it right here and right there everywhere so one two or three i think this could be looking really awesome together also but it's kind of very it's not very the minimal style that i usually <laughs> that i usually have um here i'll probably adjust the pattern to something like this maybe yeah so let me know one two or three three okay y'all are down for three okay good all right so let's remove everything else let's continue with our number three and let's build this out let's build this out into something so we have a couple variations here of this font and i think we could work with this one all right but i think since you know since our um font is very outline based we can't make it small so we will have to create two variations of this logo one being this that we use in large format and one being very simple solid that we use in a small format so that it's still legible right so take a look at that if i would have this being this font it will not be legible so keep that in mind when you're designing that you might need an alternative to something like this right all right so we have that let's jump into the label design we have our color palette we have our pattern we have everything set and ready to go so now let's create our label label is going to be i think this cream color and then we are going to place, of course, our the name of our brand on it. All right, there we go. This looks great. I like this already. Let's outline this command shift and O and let's make this real large. And that could be something that we can think about a uh, where we can think about a um, like a varnish that we can use here. All right, now let's apply our pattern here. Let's see how our pattern is going to look like and if it's going to work in our context. Yes, this could work. This could work. This could work. Let me scale this down just a little bit. There we go yes this might work this might work um see now this is very ornamental design right so i'm going to make a little i'm also even going to make a little frame around this more ornaments yay put everything in the frame and decorate it yes this is the style of this brand 
and we are going to size this down just a little bit something like this and we can even take the edges and make them round the way we just did it remember where we can uh, go into the direct selection tool and click on these edges and then make it to that inverted um okay i want to do this to all of my things so i'm going to select all of them with a the direct selection tool there we go yay and we can even make it more ornamental by creating a copy of this and placing it underneath whoop and whoop and make it because one line is too little when you're when you're you're dealing with ornamental designs you want to have as many lines as possible right so we wanted to make it really really ornamental and you know what this can even have a fill so we can even turn this around and make this something like that arrange center back hey i want you all in the background uh-huh wait let's see what is happening Oh, okay, I see. It's because we don't have a fill in here. And we do need a fill. So I'm going to go in and do something like this. And then, or actually, let me just use the exact color from here. And now I'm going to place all of these to the back. There we go. Now, this one, we can turn it around and create a little frame like that. now now let's get back to our pattern and how can we reuse this little pattern here we can reuse these dots and place them repeat them and place them like around here or we can even make use of the pattern right here and take these little elements and you know maybe we can even replace our dots and um, replace our dots with those elements that we already have in our font because why not now we can see that this element is repeating itself in the pattern so we are going to place that here as well in the same way just like that just like that do you think it's too much i think it is a bit too much i'm going to leave it a little bit of breathing room here just a little bit like so and maybe also these outlines are a little bit too much these dots we can remove now we can still go in and adjust our little design here like so nice so now what are we missing we're missing a bunch of stuff we are missing our maybe we can bring in that little design element in here and make it real small because we are not done decorating yet we're still decorating kind of and what else can we do actually let's remove that let's remove that thing and again i'm saying it's all about experimenting and like trying new things and trying to re also repurpose these so maybe ah i feel like these stars can be something and these stars can be something i'm so sure of this Maybe something like this. Because this is a five star drink. It's a premium quality tequila. All right. So now we have all of these. Let's group them. Okay. Oh my God, I'm almost running. I'm almost running out of time maybe we can draw something maybe we can even get some illustrations oh yeah i have an idea i have a great idea my best friend stock.adobe.com sometimes has some really cool illustrations so i'm going to look for an agab of course you can illustrate yourself but i am busy doing other things right now and i don't have enough time so we have illustrations 
I'm going to remove images from here. Let's see. Let's go into straight into illustrations. In straight in illustrations, I'm going to look for for the agave plant. Yeah, I would prefer a line art that I can use. This all looks like very colorful illustration, but we have our filters and let's see what we can um what we can filter here hmm let's see let's see yeah this is not quite the style that i'm looking for let's see we have more pages so let's just look through them no 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 this is not it. We need to look for, I think we need to look for a vector illustration. Let's see, vector. Photos, vectors, there we go. Okay, great. This is it. This is it, my friends, this is it. And I might just grab one of these. This, you can, literally take one of these and make your own label but that's just going to be not very original okay all right so okay i'm going to open this up and i'm going to take this illustration of the agave vintage i really like that it fits perfectly into our um into our design and maybe we're even going to remove the top pattern and place our agave plant there so maybe something like this. I think that could work pretty well. Let's make it our brand colors using letter I. Something like that. And you know what? Illustration can make so much. And you can, in the same way, you can also draw your own um, illustration like that and put it into your design. All right, cool. So we have some stuff going on here. Let's see how we can use this little element. We can pull it up just a little bit to leave some room for text and we are missing our description of the product. So what's the product all about? And our product is a tequila, artisanal tequila. So I'm going to take this like that. And we can still play around with our shapes here. We can expand them just a little bit to the bottom. Or maybe we can even take our stars and remove them and place this here. Something like that. Just play around and feel free to experiment. Now, one of my thoughts is that this could be a little bit darker over here to create some contrast. Maybe we can use this dark color around here. Oh, look. This color definitely will bring a little pop into this. I think. I think this is going to be great. Yes, this is going to be good. All right, so that's it. Now, I think this needs to be just a little bit smaller to leave a little bit of breathing room. And let's also make our agave just a little bit smaller so we can place these babies a little bit further up and a little bit smaller like this give this a little bit of space now what do you think what do you all think is this good is this not so good can we play with colors oh look nice okay so i'm somewhere between this and this maybe this no I don't think, I think the orange is a little bit too much. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep it light, but I'm going to experiment with this color once again to see what we can do here. <sighs> yeah, no, I think I'm just going to keep it like this. I think this is good. All right, how's it going? Now, uh, Omar is sen sending a lot of flames. Yes, this tequila definitely looks like I would so uh, something I would buy. 
but um, let's continue. Let's finish this up. I want to finish this up. I want to make this nice. Um, yeah, let's leave those maybe. Oh, you know what? This could be something here. Yeah, something like that. Just to balance out the little white space that we have around here. Something like this. And then maybe this can be uh, the green color. And those stars can also be something else. Maybe those stars can actually be one of those uh, brighter tones, like the orange. Yeah, this could be this could be it. Let's see. Do we have a thinner one of these? I think we had... Yes, we had adjusted it to something like that. With a shadow, maybe. Yeah, that's good. I like this. Now, let's add some milliliters here and some um, description at the bottom. So I'm going to take these elements. I'm going to make them real small. Arrange, bring to front. And I'm going to place them like right here on the sides. Something like this. And again, I've been really liking these inverted um, these inverted, uh, what's it called? Round the corners. Um, okay, now let's copy this and let's write down 750 ml. This could be that. This could be that. And I will make that smaller. Mm, yeah. Could be something like this. We could also try without and make this one white instead. Always make sure to keep the contrast. We always need that contrast for the legibility. And I might go in here and again make this in yeah the darker tone yeah this could work this could work i'm satisfied with this what do you all think let's bring it in uh let's give it a little shadow um effect stylize drop shadow and then we're gonna make this just like a 20 percent and yeah like a very small yeah okay good now uh, what i would like to do is i would like to see some texture in here so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to take a paper uh image so i'm just going to go into the free i, th I think it was free looking for paper background but you can literally take any paper um that you want i just want to see the texture yes 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 license for free thank you thank you adobe stock i'm taking this okay this is perfect all right now let me drop this into my illustrator there we go now i'm going to place that just into my into the size of my rectangle and again, you don't have to be very careful with this. This is just for us as an experiment. Okay, I'm going to place that and I'm going to go into window, transparency and multiply. Yay, look how cute. So much texture. Now also let's um, decrease the opacity just a little bit. So it looks a little bit more natural. Yeah, there we go. All right, now we have a really nice preview of our little label. Um, I think that's pretty cool. And that was an hour. An hour of work designing a whole brand. Now, of course, what we can do is we can also create alternates for our logo. Or we can experiment with some colors, color variations. So we can take our label and try out how that will look like 
with different color tones and you know maybe we we'll end up liking something different better look this could also be this could also be interesting now here of course i would adjust the stars and make them a white color or maybe a black color or almost black color cool yay this is fun all right friends now let's just create a background because i'm a perfectionist <laughs> i need a little background and i am going to i'm going to take my labels i'm going to size them down just a little bit maybe it's going to be a client presentation or maybe i'm not sure who i'm going to present this to maybe it's going to be a behance project but yeah there we have our labels um cool it looks like you all are liking it so far <laughs> Can we see it on a bottle mock-up when you're done? Yes, let's do this real quick. I, I'm also excited to see this on a bottle mock-up. So let's go in to stock.adobe.com. I want to see it on a tequila bottle. Let's see, what kind of bottles do we have? Of course, wine. Oh, I'm almost kind of... Ah, I, I want to I wanna make it nice. Okay, so let's try Creative Market. Creative Market has some really cool mock-ups. Oh, yeah. Cla glass liquor mock-up. And we can also probably put a label on it, I'm sure. But let's take a look what else we've got what else we got what else we got let's look into oh yeah there are some nice ones but also not a lot maybe i should remove the word tequila and look for bottle mock-ups Ooh, that one is nice that one is nice this one is also really nice this one is really cool look this is it this is what we need yes 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 this is good all right so i'm going to take this this is personal i'm not making money with this okay so let me take this over here so i can check out real quick without you watching <laughs> um all right so friends, how are y'all doing? Are y'all as excited as I am to see this mock-up? All right, I'm gonna have to check out real quick. Let's see. All right. Yeah, that mock-up is great. I'm, I might even reuse it for something else or I might even create a Behance project out of this. Who knows? Maybe this is going to be my new portfolio piece. The Jalisco Artisanal Tequila. All right, so let's put these babies on a bottle. Let's put these babies on a bottle. Okay, I'm gonna open the file real quick so I can access those those mockups. Now, which one are we going to make? I think the front frontal one will be nice. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Hello, Photoshop. Welcome, welcome to the stream on branding Wheel of Fortune. Cool. Um, Bakar is asking, am I, am I the only one who's trying to read the text on, on my shirt? On my shirt? Oh, it says being human, 100%. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, and I'm saying it's 11 p.m. here, but I couldn't miss this. Oh, it's also, you know, just like put, put, my, uh, put, put me next to you and then just like try to fall asleep while listening to some design language. I don't think it's a bad way to fall asleep to be honest. Yay, Vakart found a bottle. 
Uh, f okay, good. I also have a bottle now. Look. I even bought it. So, bottle shadows, wood floor, filter effect. Okay, I guess this is the label. Yes. This is our label. And here we have some reflections, metallic foil and shade paper texture reflections. Wow. This is a lot. All right. Cardboard texture. All right. This is good. Now, where is where am I placing my mock-up? Bottle of shadows. Bottle of color. Glow control. Glow control. Um, metallic foil shade paper texture. Neck bottle. Oh yeah. Okay. Bottle smart object. Looks like this is it. This is it, my friends. This is it. So which one are we putting? I think the first one, right? Or the second one? One or two. Dum 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 dum. Tequila artisanal. Yes. Um hi Achilles, good to see ya. Yeah, tequila artisan okay, fine. You're right. Alright, let's change this. Artesanal. Okay. Alright, let me type this. I want to make this right. Arte sanal. Tequila artesanal. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Arte sanal. Good. All right, so we got this sorted out. The grammar is on point now, looks like. One, yes. Okay, let's do one. I'm I'm for one too. So I'm going to copy this whole thing. Maybe, maybe even with the texture. Let me try it without first. So I'm just literally command seeing and command Ving it in here. And we're going to preview first of all what this is it, what this mock-up is all about. All right. Paste a smart object. Thank you. All right, let's see. Let's see what this is going to be. Bottle C artwork. <sighs> Is this going to make us a label? <gasps> oh my God. Look, we have a label, but it's way too big. I think we need to size this way down with command T for transform. I'm going to put this a little bit smaller. <gasps> okay, good. Uh, place it a little bit further to the top. like this yes thank you okay this looks pretty good i can say that the paper texture is really nice it does look pretty good yeah now let's go in here and i think there are different textures so oh no never mind cardboard reflections hmm. yeah i mean this looks good to me let's oh look i found the double information here 750 ml is already on this hmm, whatever whatever all right so friends we have the mock-up as you wanted i'm going to export this and place it into our in into our file I'm going to save it in my documents so that you all, so that I can find it. <laughs> I really need to sort out my, my files. Okay. Yay. Look, our tequila brand is coming to life on this live stream. Cool friends. So I'm hoping this was lots of fun for you 
and I'm hoping that you all could take something out of this and I'm hoping also that we can do another session next Friday make sure to follow me on Julia Moselska make sure to make a little put a little like um, put a little thumbs up for this video and also um, you can feel free to share it if you want to all right friends I wish you all a happy weekend stay safe stay healthy stay sunbathing um hi mike uh good for thank you for joining you will have to rewatch this thing because this was fun all right friends so thank you all so much again and uh, have a wonderful weekend ahead bye bye <laughs>